Hello guys, welcome to Karna Linux. Today we are going to install Manjaro deep in 17.1.10. It's a stable version. So let's get started. Go to home and this is my VMware workstation 12 Pro. I'm going to create a new virtual machine. Select a typical. Next. Choose I will install the operating system data. Click next. And guest operating should be Linux. And here the version you should select other Linux 3.6 kernel 64 bit. So click next. And I am giving the name of my virtual machine is Manjaro iPhone DP. And I'm going to change the location of this VM virtual machine. So I created one folder for that. So this is that folder Manjaro DP. Okay, next. Okay, I'm giving the amount of GB that is for your hard disk. I'm giving 50 GB and uh, I want to store virtual disk as a single file. Click next and go to customize hardware. Here go to memory. I am giving 3 GB of physical RAM. So 1024 into Three equals to three zero seventy two zero seventy two right and processor number of processor I have two and two cores processor so go to CD and DVD select the ISO image file so that is your boot table ISO image file here you can find I have this ISO image file in my Winterfield directory and click it and open network adapter is that and go to display and click on accelerate 3d graphics so this is recommended so maximum amount of disk memory that can be used for graphics memory okay Everything is perfect right now. So these are the settings you have to change to install this operating system. Uh, I choose because 50 GB hard disk, it's like heavy desktop environment, DP. So that's why I choose a uh, 50 GB hard disk and 3 GB of physical memory. That is your RAM. And uh, yeah, that's it. Click close this. And you can find the summary here. The virtual machine will be created with the following settings. You can find the name and the location and and kernel, hard disk and the memory. So other devices like CPU and USB controller, etc. Finish. Okay, now power on this virtual machine. Close these things. So, Control Alt Enter to enter into full screen mode. Use up and arrow keys. First, go to Time Zone. You can select here. Press Enter and enter on Asia. Select Asia, Kolkata. Your time zone is selected and key table that means keyboard table yes okay leave it language is english and us that is also okay and driver is for free here you can change if you have nvidia drivers you can change as non-free if you enter you have two options free and non-free i have only intel graphics that is embedded on my motherboard so i choose only free here 
press enter okay and that go to boot manjaro x86 and underscore dp just press enter here that means we are booting the operating system I am not skipping anything because I want you to understand everything while we are installing this operating system. It's checking the OS and ISO image file. Here you can find a start job is running for okay live media pacman pacman is for installing the packages in manjaro operating system pacman is can is a package manager for this manjaro okay it's almost done i think so yes now it's going to boot It's gave me some kind of music while I am record while I am installing this operating system. I don't know. Let's see what will happen. Yeah, Manjaro DP. Okay, this is the installation page. So you can find here like welcome to this is Manjaro Hello page. Welcome to Manjaro. You find the documentation here, read me and the release info and wiki. You can get you can get the support from forums, chat room, and mailing list. Project if you want to involve in this project and development, if you want to donate, also you can find all these things here. Thank you for joining our community. Welcome to Major. Okay. Now I am going to click on launch install. Okay, welcome to Manjaro Linux 17.1 Hakolia installer. Yes, select the languages English United States. Go to location. No, I'll click on here next. Okay, it's already it's already checked because while I booting this operating system, I selected my time zone there. So now I'm going to select the keyboard. English US here you can find English US and check this default click next so here I am if you check this errors disk it will automatically install the operating system it will give the automatic automatically the partition table so I don't want to do that I want to create manually so I choose manual partitioning so click next if you if you don't want to create the partitions yourself you just select this erase disk and click on next but in this case i am using man manual partitioning that i know how to do the partition so that's why i am choosing so click next so here you can click on that new partition table new partition table you have to select master boot record that is nbr okay click on free space click create okay i want to give 3 gb of swap memory so so i have to minus that partition here 5118 the total partition you gave here 51198 minus 3072 
so almost it's 48 a gb so i am giving 48 48 126 mb that is i am choosing this mount partition in slash in slash partition it will automatically automatically create the boot partition and the root folder as well as home folder so if you choose the slash partition the the remaining amount of uh, hard disk partition will be go to the swap memory so i am going to create only two partitions here that is for my slash partition that is root partition and uh, this is 48 gb so 3072 mb that is for my swap memory so normally the principle is like that if your physical memory is 3 gb if you want to create swap partition you have to double the physical ram but in this case i am choosing the same amount of my physical ram because i am running this as a my virtual machine so that's the reason so this is 42 48 gb for slash partition and the file system should be ext4 this is the file system ext4 you have to select here and just mount point is slash and click ok so you can find 47.0 gb is your slash partition next click on free space create so you can find easily 3072 mb that is your i'm going to give that as my swap memory so check on flight file system click on linux swap click ok so two partition that i created here that is one is slash root partition slash or nothing but it's a root partition and the other partition is my swap memory so click next so my name is here karna so i am giving dp also what is your name karna i should leave it okay leave it leave it my name is i am giving here karna this is my login name karna iphone dp and choose your password to keep your account safe i am choosing the password manjaro13 manjaro123 so here you have two other options like login automatically without asking for the password no i am not going to choose that for security reason i am not going to check this option and use the same password for the administration account so i am using this the same user password is also my administration administration account password so click on this yes and click next and this is your installation summary this is an overview what will happen once you start the install procedure you can find the location is time zone and the system language the numbers and date local will be set to english india also and the keyboard settings and what number of partitions here you can find so slash dev slash sda partition yeah click next so the manjaro installer is about to make changes to your disk in order to install manjaro 17.1 you will not be able to undo these changes no it's okay install now so it started to install the operating system so it will take some time when the installation process is completed i'll get back to you hello guys i'm back uh, the installation process is completed just now just take a look so showing all done so finish click on done and close this manjaro hello window 
so this is manjaro db in operating system first i am going to shut down and after shutting down this operating system i need to edit the virtual machine settings here go to cd or dvd id you have to choose use physical drive so that's it click ok now power on this virtual machine if you don't do that it will put the operating system once again it's starting Okay, mm, expecting the login page here. Yes, password. All right, game is sound. Okay, keep this, close this. In this way, you can install the Manjaro deep in here. So that's it. That's it for this video. I hope you understand this video. If you like this video, please click on this like button and uh, share this video as many people as you can if you want if they want to install this manjaro dpin and uh, they want to run this operating system for their daily routines and don't forget to subscribe my channel in my upcoming videos i am going to compare with manjaro dpin versus manjaro xfcg editions so i hope you all meet in my next video Thank you. Have a nice day.